What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. And we're taking Mana Crypt. So I had to unmute Mike's mic, but instead of that, I muted my mic. So I was like, well, they have to have the same uh, the same icon, right? The non-muted icon. But then since one had a muted icon and one had a non-muted icon, my mic went to the muted icon. And I was like, oh, they're both the same icon, so clearly we're fine. So we took that. Now we're taking a channel. Sounds good. Man. Okie dokie. Cube's easy. Man. Boop and Mox Diamond seems good. Elk says Elk Tier says Stip Mike picks every other card. We actually have a Stip like that. Um, hmm. Kind of. Anyway, Mox, Mox Diamond is correct here. So. so we've opened basically three pieces of power almost? I guess. When is the last time you ate at Olive Garden and how was it? Uh, it was ages ago. And it was not that good. I mean, I haven't been to a restaurant since February. So I can't even really count that. He just can't count. Yes, Michael, of the two of us, I'm the one that cannot count. Everybody knows it. Hmm. I'm glad you're finally admitting to it. Wow. Okay, it should be updated now. I think that's correct now. Bet. Um, Sundering Titan is a dude. Yeah, Sundering Titan seems good for channel. All Sundering Titan. There's, that, there's a reason that dude's banning Commander. Oh, so the uh, the retired Air Force Lieutenant Colonel, who was seen at the riot, the, I don't even want to call them riots, like the fucking siege at the Capitol, uh, has been arrested. So that's cool. Got him. Um, I mention it because it's breaking news. Just just happened like within the past hour, I imagine. Hmm. None of these are green. None of these are green. We do have a stipulation from the Cyclismo. Toolbox stick, birthing pod, Vanifar survival, draft as many as possible. I want you to time out from searching your library so much. I'm going to take birthing pod, and we're going to try to do that one. You can still play channel and Sundering Titan in a birthing pod deck. Are you sure? I would probably, I was going to cut those. The two is so high. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like, well, Michael, listen, I'm going to take Golgari's signature. here. Can I play that in my birthing pod deck, you think? No. Well, you can only play one artifact and it has a birthing pod. Damn it. So Sundering Titan and Mox Diamond are out too then. Yeah. How you just you said I could play them. How are you going to run your, your Uthi, man? My Uthi? Yeah. Your Oof. Oof? Mm-hmm. I don't... Your oof. <laughs> did you say Oof? But you said Uthi. Yeah. Why did you say Uthi? I don't want to talk about it really. <laughs> uh, sword's pretty strong. Is that right? A lot of decks just fold to that. Is that right? What about show and tell? You like show and tell? No. Thank you. Opposition agent is. It could be good. Punk boy RD. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Depends on how broken your opponent's deck is, basically. Yeah, it literally relies on your opponent's deck. Also, if they have fetches, it's like a stifle. It's so brutal. Yeah, I'm going to take sword. Okay. Okay. I guess we're taking Maelstrom Pulse here. Well, actually, hold on. The stip specifically says. I want you to time out from searching your library you so to much. Petition, yeah, I'm kind of like, I kind of feel like dark petition. Anyway. Wow, that's rude. Question this time because I'm drinking red wine. Since we're coming over there, what would you? If we were Joe Biden and <laughs> VP, whatever. I, I mean, it's gonna be a tough one. I have no idea. I'd probably order from a nice restaurant so I could try to impress them. And yeah, they'd be real impressed by you. They'd be like, wow, Michael, this we meal you ordered from a restaurant. Well, we so you, tell him we made them. Oh, so you'd lie. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, they're going to proceed with bringing impeachment leg legislation to the floor, so that's amazing. Hmm. Dowdell searches your opponent's library. Yeah, but sometimes... Home Trader's never done anything in his life. Uh, you know what it does do? 
it lets you search it up with birthing pod michael we're trying to play oh, a birthing pod deck it. yeah i guess it might be so, good enough for that sorry to tell you michael but sometimes you have to look at the strategies that are in your deck and build around those as a commander player i feel like you should know this but i just know bone has never had a target in its life it's a blank card it's a one one flyer okay okay, okay. I, I see how you're gonna be i understand i understand now i'm gonna revoker take this just good. in case revoker yeah because you can search it up and it's like it's like a toolbox card yeah you're right you know what you're right recurring nightmare that's a card that i can get card. behind i like nature's claim but Recurring Nightmare is pretty broken. You keep saying these things, but you've never married or dated any of them, so I don't even understand how you could, like, nature's claim that much. <laughs> Grave Titan is a nice pick. Wow, that was, I'm surprised that tabled. Not really, but kind of. What does Mike's hat say? It doesn't say anything. Just a gray hat. It doesn't say anything? No. I guess I could get it embroidered. I guess I could get it embroidered. Null Priest is pretty sweet. All right, I'll take a Null Priest. So we got a little bit of a reanimated thing. What does thing that one do? What, what do you it? do? Does it return something? Why don't you look and find out? Oh, it reanimates entirely. That's pretty good. So it's six mana reanimate. Otherwise, it's a 2-1 with Menace and Lifelink. Where has that been all my life? That should be in my commander deck. Yeah, it's in the cube. I mean, we're gonna take we're gonna take Karn here because we have channel channel for yeah, sure. Fast man, yeah. Not even close. We're gonna take the Carnarium. Null Priest blows. Wow, what an asshole! It's a two one for two with relevant abilities. Ooh, I like a later Bayou. On. Reanimate something. How does it blow? Yeah, I'm gonna take the Bayou. Actually, we're in two colors. Bayou is good. If Lotus Cobra, Metamorph, or Devoted Druid come back, I'm gonna be like. You're gonna make that sound? I'm gonna, I'll do it. Yeah, I, I just did. It. Some hunter's gonna be like, <laughs> hunter's like. <sighs> I don't know what goon gang means. What does that mean? I have no idea. Joe looks like a Chipotle burrito type guy. Donald's more McDonald's clown kind of guy. <laughs> oh boy, I love it. You two are the good. God damn, that was messed up. Oh, I have no qualms with me being a goon. Do you underground? Underground means overgrown. I'm just going to take all the, the two color lands that we can get because they're good. Imperial still also searches our library, so I'm going to put it in the deck. Also, I mean, it's the one of the worst tutors, <laughs> but it's still a tutor for what mana. Like. I also think reanimate could be good here because if we get survival and then we... Can you cheat? Dude, oh my god. So one of my biggest issues with Michael stream with me is when he sits there, his legs aren't like this like normal people. They're like this. And like, I literally like have to like, like it's, it's, it's like if I move my leg, it literally touches his and he's two feet away from me. It's wild. Yeah, look, I, I moved a little bit. I've never seen such a thing. There you go. He's the biggest man spreader I've ever seen. Stop the spread. Green sun searches, boy. Yeah. We have zero green like creatures trop, so far. We don't have any blue yet, so. Yeah, I'm not gonna take a, I'm not gonna take a land that we can't even find, that can't we can't even use in our deck. Yeah. Over a green. We also take a beast within. Oh what? Beast within. No, say what? Beast within. No no no. What? Beast without. Okay, whatever, man. Forget it. Just yours. forget it. Just Elf. forget it. Yeah, our elf seems juiced. Although drag tusk is sweet with. Drag tusk. Yeah. But I think Elf is what we need. This might come back. People. Dorks are good. You know what else is good? Green creatures to search with green sun zenith. Like a scavenging ooze? I guess. I mean, not really like a scavenging ooze. Really? I mean, I don't really care to search up a tutu, but... But it get big. It's strong. Okay. I mean, it interacts with the graveyard. What were we going to think instead? Like sword or command? Command searches, too. Command searches. See, you just literally nailed it. No, there's literally nothing in this pack we can play. I guess Memory Jar. No. I'd rather potentially splash Huntmaster than play a stupid Memory Jar. I could search for this guy, too. Yeah. All right. That's fair. Plus, we could easily pick up a red. Oh, yeah. We can actually Birthing Pot into it. Green Sun Zenith into it. We also have Mox Diamond, which also taps for red. Wait, for real? Yeah. I thought it only tapped for the colors in your deck. No. 
Well, even if it did, this would be red. So, technically, it's still good. If you forget what it does, you can take your actual copy and read it. Whoa! Got, got a little of the humble brags yeah, there. That's right. It's probably the most unselfish thing I've ever done. I bought you a Mox <laughs> Diamond before I bought myself one. <laughs> that is pretty unselfish. I'm going to take Corpse Dance. How do you feel about that? Good. I don't care about it, really. It's, it's going on the sideboard. Every day I gr it grows more expensive, though. i got to get on it soon. But I can't really afford it this paycheck. It would be all my money. Get on it soon. Uh, You hate Blooming Marsh, but I think it's the pick. Dang, that one's expensive. Yeah, no, it's definitely the pick. Yeah, so like, here's the thing. This was at fifteen sixty with two eighty shipping, so it was like eighteen bucks, which is the regular price they're going for. Mm -hmm. I offered fourteen instead of fifteen sixty. They declined my offer and raised their price three dollars. <laughs> it's like what? Why? <coughs> I don't even understand. Weird. I want it all. Can't have it. Dang it. Wait, why did you say you didn't like that card, by the way? I missed it. I don't know what he's saying right now. Oh, what was he trying to buy? Um, Dryad of the Ill Grove? It was a foy it was a borderless Dryad of Elysian Groves. Yeah, that's how you say it. <laughs> that's how you do oh, it. Snowforge of Search. Also splashable. And we have a sword. Oh, Lily came back? That's pretty nice. Yeah, that's a good one. It's also good with Recurring Nightmare because you get more targets in the yard. Michael, they're coming for you. The taxi? Yeah, you, oh, because it, it was it was it was a car honked its horn. It's a taxi. Last pick had brain freeze. This pick has tendrils. That's actually pretty funny. And mine's wow. Second to last pick tendrils. I mean, last could, pick could, mine's desire. Pivot to storm. Yeah, we could. I mean, we have diamond, uh, crypt. mana crypt, imperial seal. That is a lot of doobies. I like Rex Sage here. I've never Near wanted, I've never wanted to not cast a Reckless Sage every, every Reckless time. Sage? A reckless Sage. That bitch is reckless. I mean just being able to search this guy is is really what you want to be. Card's very strong. I like Mirror Battle Sphere. I hope it comes back. I don't think it will, but I think this is more versatile. We already have Karn and Sundering Titan. You can go over here. I really don't care about fast spawn that much to be honest. I really play a mana more with a fast spawn. We oh, probably oh. Misty, though, right? I was thinking Misty, yes. We could do a Bayou and Evergrown. Yeah, it seems good. Plus, if we get a white source, we can search it up. See, now we should have took that trot, man. Why? Because now we'd be able to get it. I mean, we can still hey, get... Hey, you look at it turn into a stone <laughs> version? <laughs> I like, uh, I mean, we can still get a blue with this, you know, so... Like, yeah, so what? Fast Bond sucks. Never taking Fast Bond. Fast Bond's only good in Storm decks. Yeah, or upheaval decks, like where you, where you yeah, put right. a bunch of stuff in your hand. Like, it's... If I have, like, two lands in my opening hand, and I'm like, fast bond, put an extra land in a play, go, and I'm like, oh, it's turn two, I could have played my land naturally anyway. Sure, it's a green dark ritual, we have the pay life, and... Generally, it's, I don't know, it's just not good enough. Like, I'd rather just play a different dork than it. Plus, people have, like, discard and counter spells. And Which play, card? Uh, the fast spawn. It's like, if you're not playing... No, the answer is deck. discard. Oh. It's rough. I made a new emote. <laughs> uh, sometimes I think Dan's is too wholesome for this world. Elk Tears says, what does Mike's shirt say? But he said it in our group chat rather than your... Oh. It says uh, it's it says Mythical from Good Mythical Morning. Which is a solid YouTube show. Ooh, Kazi? Hey, channel. little Kazi. Yeah, we're definitely taking Kazi like here. What's and also, mean? if we get a nine drop, we can we can birthing pot into him. So that's pretty cool too. You ever annihilated, buddy? I annihilate every day. It's pretty hard to. Do we uh, outside of channel? How are we getting this dude to play? I guess we got mana. Fuck yolo. 
Oh, Chandler's not good enough for you? No, it is. Hey, little Kazi! It is awkward if we mill it with Liliana and then shuffles all our targets back. You literal shut Moochel down so hard. Did I really? I Good thing I don't remember what you're even talking about. I like this. I like this one even better. But I also like Vraska, and I think Chupacabra is the pick here because it lets us go like good Rex Sage and uh, like we're still potting here, so I'll chup it up. <sighs> wow, this is a pack. Holy crap! We got a Gaia's Cradle. Mm. It's not. We're not a Gaia's Cradle deck, but it's still here. We have it's a Treachery. Three, we're not a Treachery right? yeah, deck. No, we don't have enough Dorks for Cradle. I don't. Gristlebrand think. and Coalition Relic. Thinks is also decent in the deck because of. Crystal is great with Liliana, but I mean, like, can you can you point out a way we're getting it into our graveyard? Outside of Ever? No. We're yeah, outside there. of like just naturally milling it. I mean, I actually feel like it's relic because we have six drop, yeah, like seven relic. drop, ten drop, eight drop, and we're not potting into this guy. Plus obviously, another way to cast the white and red spells. Shriek Maw. Shriek Maw. Yeah, it's the only thing in here. Oh, I like a big worm. <laughs> oh, I like a big worm. <laughs> where's yeah. Where's the lie, Michael? Um, actually, it might be I mean, Night of the Reliquary is better. How many white cards do we want, though? I mean, you could just pot into this, or you can. I mean, we have Stone Forge, and you two is well, I guess the answer. Telling to you. me we have a white card doesn't make it. Doesn't never mind. D does it? <laughs> does it? D does it? I don't think it. we need worm. We have enough thirty balls. Like Rex Sage. I think we have enough good, big, fat things. Enough good. Warren Coils, Warren Coils art, Engineer's Art looks like a Karen asking to see the Mandrid. Michael it? Michael said it like he was from the South. Worm Carl. Let me say that, Worm Car Carl. Oh, we didn't take Worm Coils, so we can't look at it. You can't ever look at it again. <laughs> Unless you take the cards, I'm you cannot look. Dude. I mean, I would replace Vampiric Tutor with Imperial Seal here. I could also take Concealed Courtyard because we're splashing these white cards. But I don't like that. I think it's just Vampiric Tutor. This tutor's pretty strong. Plus, it's in the thing. Mm, regrowth. It's in the thing? It's part of our... Well... Thing. Maybe. Maybe. Sneak it... What? This is a late sneak attack that I'm just going to take because if that Ulamog comes back... Um... Plagrados is solid. Carnage Tyrant? All right. Tyrant. And we're going to have to make some cuts here. I know we just took it, but probably Tyrant. Better for the board. Sunny D. It'll yeah, burn burn our throat. Mana base, right? I mean, we're going to play the white, but probably not the... Yeah, the white's a lot stronger. Actually, maybe I cut Stone... I don't think Stone... For oh, Vraska came back? That's kind of cool. Also, we could have Time Spiral for our... Yeah. But, I mean, if we're going to splash white anyway, we're playing the sword. Actually, I'm going to cut the sword. We don't have that many great creatures that are going to be wielding a sword here. Actually, I don't see... Th this is the hard thing about pod decks. Like, we have three three drops. That's fine. Three four drops. One five drop. One six drop. And the that's it. doesn't matter as much. It's really about the... I think it's fine. Wow, Michael B's being real ambitious. That's fine. I don't know if we're recurring nightmaring. It's just good recursion. Right, but we have to make two cuts, so. I think it's probably Hunt Master. Okay, so you want two two four drops. That's fine. How oh, is one four drop fine? <laughs> What's not fine? Well, we actually only made two cuts. We only need one cut, right? Because Mox is a land, basically. No, I'm not. No, you cannot play Mox Diamond as a land because it literally needs lands to play. Yeah, be greedy. No, I'd rather not. Definitely not playing 16 lands Mox Diamond. Like, I, do, I don't think that strategy is viable. Yeah, it works in CEDH. You play 17 lands Mox Diamond in CEDH. No, but instead of playing like 36 land, competitive text, if you play between 28 and 31, and still run Mox Diamond. So it's kind of the same thing. But anyway. But that's completely, you're playing significantly more lands in general. You're playing a third yeah, of. Yeah, you're playing a 99 card deck too, or a 98 card. So. So a relative ratio of mana. Okay. 
We have one white card, so I mean, like, it doesn't make sense to cut white. We're just playing Knight of Autumn. We have Coalition Relic, Mox Diamond, and we can pot into it. Like, um, we don't have, like, we, we're not playing red or white. We just literally have a Knight of Autumn and a Huntmaster because you have Birthing Pod. And we can also green Sun Zenith for both of them, so, like, it doesn't make any sense to, to cut those nightmare. cards. I don't think we're a great recurring Nightmare deck. Yeah. <clears throat> we don't have great loops either. Tell mm -hmm. us about your loops, Michael. And then. Do you want to cut one more? I think it's just Arbor Elf. I don't really care about Arbor Elf, to be honest. I like Dorks, but whatever. And we also have duels to untap a loot, which is pretty good. <sighs> Maybe it's still like one of the big things. I just think your argument, like, if we're going to play Pod. I think we still do want to play the Hunt Master. Um, yeah, I'm not taking the Hunt Master okay. out. <laughs> You're hovering over it, so. I'm just, I, that's literally just what Mouse ended up. Um, you Liliana? Meh, I like Liliana because we can pod things away and then get them back. I think Vraska. I think though. We can take Vraska out. I think Vraska is better than Liliana. Really? Yeah. Why? Because it destroys stuff. Like what? Things with cost three or less. Yeah, we already have Shriek Maw, Bone Shredder, Rex Sage, Knight of Autumn. Like, what do we need to dis Like, what? Ravenous Chupacabra. Well, yeah, it's just kind of like a, a mid-range thing we don't need. But, I mean, like, we're potting creatures away. We're putting them in the graveyard. Like, no, Liliana can point. get all of them back. Okay. All right. I mean, I'll cut Dark Petition then. That's fine. I like that better. Yeah, then, yeah Dark Petition is kind of... Especially because you have Vampiric Tutors, so... No... Five five, so all these lands are equal. Um, so this would be ten ten. Color, yeah, pretty even. Go put another green because channel. You do have an elf also in a channel, yeah. All right, Let's see what's happening. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. I used to like Dark Position. Then I got money and I bought all the really good tutors. And you're like, wow. Thank I don't you. like this because I could afford it. Mm -hmm. Now I can afford more. And it's not as good. Mm -hmm. Garrett, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Where's the time gone? Obviously, ignoring the crushing void that was the remainder of 2020. Oh, boy. Yeah, obviously it's still great if you have spell mastery, but if you don't, it's oof. And there's too many times when you don't. Especially for this deck. I don't know what you're saying right now. I think I blacked out. What kind of commander decks do you like? Are you excited for the five color enchantment lady? <laughs> That card looks like a banger, although I think it might be too popular, so I'm probably not going to play it. So literally everyone's going to play it. Yeah, um, but it's definitely very good for casual level play. Um, I think it's probably real strong. It's probably going to be like a pub stomper for casual games, so it might be an awkward deck. Like, it might be too good for a lot of tables. Five-color decks in general, like, if they're anywhere decent, are usually a little too strong for casual tables. Um you ever worry that you're too strong for the casual table? All the time. That's why I powered down my decks. <laughs> I meant physically. It was a, oh, it was a joke. That... I'm too fat and I'll break it. Oh, uh, no. no I, oh, God. It's all going downhill now. He's making fun of himself. I can't even stop. I can't. <laughs> He's, out of... He's out of control. So, like, they raised it to 19 plus 280 shipping. So, 2180 shipping. And then I'm like, extended dryad. Can you not get it for cheaper on like... Hey, you can get it cheaper from everywhere because they just oh. raise the price. Lowest price. 60, oh, that's a foil. That's why it was 65. Has it gone up? Did it go up like $2? That's weird. Possible. Card the bang. Sarcastatron. Thank you for the reset, buddy. Two minutes and 10 seconds in the queue in a vintage cube that has like 6,000 players. I have a normal one, but extended art's cool. I agree. None of my cards will ever not be extended art now. Plus, the difference in the price between extended normal isn't that much, usually. See, Michael, this is why you want more lands. Because if this is a one-land hand with a Mox Diamond, like, it doesn't do anything. Sure. I'm still going to keep it. I'll definitely keep this. Would you definitely keep it? Not to play or draw. 
I'm on the draw. I'm on the play. Makes it better. Oh, that makes it worse. Well, okay. You know what they say. Uh, when people are playing their first commander decks or more casual, I just play a pre-con. No, I bought a pre-con. I bought a little pre-con. My name is Michael Pre-con. I like to have like different power levels for different play groups. Power levels. Let me see them power levels. Definitely picking up on those Avengers. That guy looks sick. <sighs> Is there a birthing pot here? My favorite precon. Um, I really like the Bance Enchantment ones. Um, and I really like the... Just Bance! The vampire one that I just bought. <laughs> now, there's no point. No point to pod. Haven't been able to catch a live stream in months? That's so long, man. Oh, okay. So the deck is basically saying, hey, man, where's your channel, bro? Where's your channel, bro? I knew you were going to say bro. I was like, <laughs> you can't wait to say bro. He just loves it. Oh, he he loves the bruvs. This is one of those hands where Mox is actually awkward, but eh, what are you going to do? Well, hmm. also an awkward draw. I mean, it wasn't awkward. Like, like Mox wasn't awkward until, like, we just didn't have enough lands. But, like, it's... Revoker, well, I meant Revoker because it's, like... No, but you said, you literally said Mox before, oh, well, like, yeah, before the Revoker was even in the hand. You, you, you meant Mox because this wasn't even a draw. No, I said it after you drew that. I was saying that was an awkward draw as well. As well, in addition to... The Mox, yeah. Right. I think you're having a stroke, man. I don't really, I don't understand what's going on right now. Okay. Well. Well, I'm gonna kill him that. I hope we draw land. Oh yeah, doing the big murder. We're gonna do a murder. Land would be nice. Kill it, sack it. Yeah, that's oh, what that's yeah. the world we're all living in. Together. That that'll work. That'll 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 solve the problem here. <clears throat> ch, ch ch channel. Look at me. It's a channel. Um, so we can, can go to we can go to one here and play both of these guys. You can't go down with Pod, right? Down? Yeah. N no. Okay. What are you a maniac? Just wasn't sure. How do you live your life as a maniac, Michael? I don't have Pod in my decks, man. I don't know how it works. So explain this to me on TCG Play, right? This product right here, it says sixteen fifty five shipping included. Mm -hmm. And then I go to my cart when it's in there. And it says sixteen fifty five, and then my only shipping option is standard at fifty five cents, bringing it to seventeen ten. They wave it a checkout, maybe. What? Otherwise, it makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna check. Uh, nope. Still paying the shipping charge Sick. there. That's so weird. Like, why? Why? Okay. Well, I played channel, so I guess I'll just start taking damage here. So. <clears throat> Well, I want to hit lands, so I want to draw my oh, cards. Oh, you're drawing cards. I got you. Yeah, see, so look, I hit a bunch, so now I can play two Think more lands. lands plus uh, mox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giggity. Oh, now you can also kill his stupid Urza. There's a record, baby. That's a mean just dance. So one, two. Oh, you're going for it? What? You're going for it? Thank you! It's Karn, man. I'm going to exile this stupid idiot. Baby. Yeah, I mean. Wait, does that kill us though? Because then you just activate Stirring Wild One and Construct. Well, they'd have to, they'd have to also get rid of your big giant idiot. But they might be able to. So that is a little risky. I think you just play Bone Shredder. So we got what? Sacred. Eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. This is seven, eight, nine, ten. We can still go to one and play Karn and Bone Shredder. If you want to go to one. I mean, what are they gonna do? Yeah, I guess then we have two blockers and a Karn. I mean. I also might just concede. <laughs> so. Get this guy out of here. Oh, now we can't. Oh, dang it. Oh no, we're just gonna we're gonna play Revoker and name Stirring Wildwood. Go to two. 
for who plays Mountain Lightning Bolt. So one thing we could do. If they play Mountain Lightning Bolt, that would be amazing. Uh, we're going to name... Oh, it's non-land. Dang it. I guess we'll name Mox. Mox Jubilee. <clears throat> okay. So now we're going to pass. And I feel like we're okay, even though we're at two. So If it was a non-land, you could just name their fetch, and that'd be, that'd be brutal. They don't have a fetch land. I guess they just crack in response then, so it doesn't matter as much. But Oh, you're saying like in, 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 in a general, hypothetical yeah. situation. Got it. Like if you're, if you're playing Legacy, you just name one of their fetches, and they're just like randomly like, well, we've got two of those in my hand. Rip. I'm going to ask Nicholas why this does this. Nicholas. Oh, I'm going to say two. Nicholas, I need to save five of your five cents. Well, and it's just a matter of, like, I'm sure it does it on other transactions as well, so I don't, like, is am I doing something wrong, or? No, I was just, I was just making it. Oh, you were just making me feel cheap. Got it. Yeah, it was a joke. Got it. That's real mature, Michael. The argument against that could be that you're not. You know. Oh, there's a planes in here, even though I literally took the planes out. That's interesting. Cool. Oh, wow, they just win. <laughs> that's, a, that's incredible. Yep, so we misplayed there. How they win? Because they're going to exile my Kozilek and kill us with the creature that they have. Oh, rad. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, it's exactly a 2-2. Two -two. Nice. <sighs> yep. I guess we could have went to one and played both. No, we could not have done that. That is not how math works. You're right. I know. Too much greed in your soul. Man, it's very sad when you have the uh, channel. Yeah, we didn't take the planes out. It's very sad when you have the channel into Kozilek and Emrakul, or and, and Karn, and you still end up losing. <clears throat> I mean, they literally had to have Winds of Abandon regrowth it winds of abandon again so hunter's not having a good time you'll never crack that clue i mean we can't name a clue that's not a card um Dang. mox emerald i guess could also name urza there but that's a little far away doesn't do much either you don't do much. How dare you? I do stuff all the time. What do you do? Stuff. Yeah. Chores. Yeah. Commander. Work. I do it all. None of those sound like real things. I feel like you made up all those. Oh boy. Are you gonna counter this with your botanical sancti? He'll probably counter with the spell he uses to offer that. Hmm. No, our man, at least you get to keep it. It's fascinating. <clears throat> At least I get to keep it. That's some cool art. Hey man, what's that Cloven Kenobi for us? It's that other card. You ever seen this? Oh, yeah. It's a really slow card. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm 
Yep. <laughs> God, it's really true. That's wild, dude. So they regrowthed, regrowthed, they regrowthed the uh, the remand there, huh? Okay. Well, remanded again. <clears throat> Crack my misty. <clears throat> And they're really going hard to draw a card. Excuse me, where's the lobby? Thanks. Why? Why? <laughs> oh boy. I'll remand it again. Okay, you got it. I feel like we drew this one incidental planes. We have Knight of Autumn in our hand. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's a monastery moon tar. Oh. Always well, fun. Well, I guess we just untap and kill it with Knight. Glad we drew that planes. Get your stupid winter orb and put it in the garbage can. At least can. winter orb is symmetrical. It doesn't mean it would be terrible for us when they have a thing that makes tokens and they can just play cheap spells to pump it and kill us with it. It's never really symmetrical. Yeah, I mean, your deck, the deck you build with, with winter orb in it is usually built to take advantage of winter orb. You just got to break parity, which they do by casting cheap spells with their mentor out. It's like saying Blood Moon is symmetrical. Good. Yep, that's the end. <sighs> Not really feeling uh, playing against opposition here. All right. Opposition is pretty brutal. Irk with the resub nine minutes ago. I didn't even see it, man. I'm so sorry, buddy. Cat Kozalek Queen. Oh yeah, we're definitely keeping this. We just gotta find one more green. Chicken in the crock pot, chicken in the crock pot. Chicken, 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 Was this 8, 15, 17? Drop that hard 17, bro. Oh, they're making your recipe. Wow, another Thrabe Inspector. Two matches in a row with Thrabe, baby. All right, come on, man. One time. Green source, one time. I, I still got to get rid of the stupid planes in the deck, apparently. Even though we keep drawing Night of Autumn and I feel justified in having it. Maybe yeah, you just leave it in. <laughs> Okay, that's uh, unfortunate. Got a Dryad Arbiter in here. What? Dryad Arbiter. Arbiter? Mm -hmm. What's an Arbiter? What's Arbiter. a Dryad Arbiter? He's the Arbiter of the Dryads. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a Sword of our deck. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Everyone played hard. This is awesome. We're probably going to draw for it just in time to not be able to use our channel because we don't have enough life. Yeah. No oh, good. He's going to equip it too. Yay. Hooray. Now 
I don't think we have awesome. one turn, even if we drew a green there. Awesome. Oh boy, this is fucking annoying. Okay, taking planes out, adding this guy. And we have Rex Sage and Knight of Autumn in the deck, so. Straight biscuits indeed. Uh, I, I mean, I was feeling fine about it until our first round opponent uh, ended up killing us after we channeled into Kozilek and Karn. And then in our second game in that round, they played Winter Orb and Opposition. I love the channel with nothing to... I guess we can just tutor for it. Oh, I like that. What are we tutoring for? Hmm. Questions. Take four. Playing white so Kozilek can be very awkward. Kozilek can be awkward? Mm -hmm. You're awkward, you little dirt burger. Dang it. Got him in the face. You just take Karn, right? Like, how did, they might not be able to beat a Karn. Everybody can beat a Karn, Michael. Actually, Karn does seem good. Yeah, we'll just Karn, sure. I feel like they'll have more answers to Kozilek than they would Karn, so. <laughs> Let's see what Nicholas says. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do we play this two? Go to six. Yeah, I just nuke their land. I think we do. I mean, we can play, just play Shriek Mon next turn and. Yeah, they're dead. Oh, a little Thraby baby. Thraby baby. Black. Let me see that hand. Two, four, six, Shriekums, McMeekums. Get rid of your two, your one Toozles. You need know, ring like right now or they're dead? Yep. Oh, Michael B. Bump. Listen, buddy. Listen, buddy. Don't tell me about not singing. You sing literally all day, every day. Are you... Yeah, but you're singing my song. You can't just jump in on someone else's song, sure bro. I can. That's There's rude. There's no rule against That's it. That's rude. It's not rude. It's an unspoken rule. <coughs> it's not. It's unspoken. I decline it. You decline it? Yeah, I decline it. I'm going to need someone to back me up here. I'm like, I'm like, well, is shipping included or isn't it? I'm talking to Nick, my friend who works at TCG Player. He's like, it's included. You just have to pay for it. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Oh, man. Tell him I said hi.
I'm still logged in though. So I'm finally back living with my husband and I'm forcing him to learn the magic game. Can y'all say hi to Wes? Hi, Wes. Oh, what up, Wes? One of my favorite filmmakers is named Wes. Wes Anderson. What if it was him? <gasps> what? <laughs> that would be amazing. Also, once you're in magic, it's too late for you. Bon, bon, hum. First you start doing it on Tuesdays. Wait. Oh, what up, Monk Honky? Banana? Is Mike moving in on my hat, Mike? Yeah, it's it's not looking good. It's not a beanie. It's a hat, though, is it not? Oh, my God. My wife also beats my button magic routinely. Brett, I had a question for... Oh, Brett, I was going to message you, and I wanted to talk about, like... I wanted, This is going to sound weird. I want to talk about saws. I wanted to see what your preferred saw is. Like, your, your preferred, like... Um table saw circular saw variety we don't have to talk about it here though we can definitely <laughs> you can definitely shoot me a message on uh on, Hello, like, Discord everyone, or i'm new here my name is kerwin <laughs> <laughs> hey guys just joined twitch <laughs> that is a very broad question so i don't i don't own one and i i want to like it's my next big like tool purchase but also like we're moving in june so I like I don't know if I want to buy something that's going to be big and bulky and take up a lot of space in a in a in a U-Haul, but also like I don't know I don't know, man. Anyway, it's a conversation we should have. We should chat about tools and and woodworking things. So anyway, with magic, it's like I'll just start doing it one day, then another day. I could spend a I could spend twenty bucks. I could spend a hundred bucks. I could probably spend a thousand bucks. Uh, mon a monk honky banana. That's what the HB and M monk HB stands for. This is now my woodworking stream. Yeah, you know what? I'd probably have a larger audience if I had a woodworking stream than if I had a. It'd be a new audience you had to build, but it is more broad, I think. Well, if it's a woodworking stream, I could probably build it pretty easily. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> that was a little woodworking humor, guys. Get out, magic nerds. <laughs> and he left. Where did he go? I don't know if you're so aware, but Frank enjoys bizarre comments and even uh, items randomly sent to him. Wow. What did Kerwitz say? Oh, no. Okay. I thought Kerwitz said, like, man, I hope my bizarre comment uh, is received well. You know what? I don't know what I'm saying right now. Why don't you just shut up? Okay. Look at me. I am the stream now. Thalia? What a jerk. I hate that card. Duh. Yeah, this is pretty bad for us. Thankfully, we have a... Oh, look, we drew the white card and the red card. That's actually phenomenal. Mox Diamond would actually be reasonable here because we can play Knight of Autumn, kill the Porcelain Legionnaire. Me and my homies hate Thalia. <laughs> God, I can't believe the second round is almost over. This 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 draft is, did not go very well. I think our deck is kind of... Too the, fair. I'm going to be honest. The problem with Birthing Pod... And Matt, Cyclismo, I love you, buddy, but... The problem with Birthing Pod and, like... Uh, Vanifar, which I don't even know why it's in this cube, is that they're just way too hard to make work. Unless you pick it up, like, literally pick one and are super... We got it in the first pack. Yeah, but even... Yeah, but I'm, I mean, like, early in pack. One okay, we missed, like... No, that, that I don't think that's true. We missed, like, what, three picks? Three cards like, well, in your whole deck or not? done. Okay, what were you going to say? I was going to say, like, even then, you have to get very specific curve creatures that work with it well, or else it just not doesn't do anything. You don't do anything. Unless you have to pay life for it? I don't know. It just feels like more of an actual constructed card. Even though it keeps kind of constructed, but not really... What? Palookie boy. I mean, I actually tend to just play Vraska and kill the this guy. But Palookie boy, big butt. Palookie boy, big butt. Mm -hmm. Is that what his parents used to call him? That's old Palookie boy, big just butt. Fight it, right? For zero? N no, it doesn't fight. Why does everyone think it fights? No, it deals X damage, and they oh. get to hit you back for their power. So you actually do need at least three mana to activate. 
Yes. Well, no, you can activate it for one. It's just going to deal zero. Cool. Caracas. <laughs> oh, fucking incredible. Like, this, these matches have been actually incredible. This is so, this is discouraging when someone does a step and, like, this is what happens. Because it's like, I feel like we, we build the deck to the best of our ability in the draft portion. But, like, you know, then you just don't. Like, well, then, then like, your opponent has Caracas the turn after you play Pelucranos. Like, okay. I don't think it has to do with our deck in that case, though. Like, it's just been a very consistent, like, one of those cues where, like, well, they literally have it every turn, every time. And there's nothing we can do. And they're gonna, yeah. Yeah, that seems good. <laughs> Big butt Palaki boy versus small land. I mean, judging by the way this cube is going, we're just gonna lose this flip. You wanna you wanna call it? I always do heads. Nicely done. That's not so we can play this. I guess we'll don't play... play don't play that. Don't just bounce it again. Good. Good. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we can we have no plays, so this has been a fun game. Um, we act need, act we actually amazing. Need to play match. We played one thing, it got bounced. We played another thing, it got shuffled in. Cool. But it was not cool, Michael. I'm sure it'll be lucky. <laughs> be more lucky next game. Oh, Kerwit, since you're new here, you don't know. <laughs> God, would you say his name was Chorwit? Uh, I think I heard that once. Yeah. Hold on, let me actually edit this. Did we take out the planes? No. On the wings of love, only that Michael bees living in the trees. On the Michael B. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Is this literally a constructed deck, Death and Taxes deck? Seems like it. Yes, it definitely felt like a constructed caliber deck that had everything they needed to at any given time. Okay, let me close all these first. Trying to save that money? Oh, I guess I didn't save it. All right, well... Um, you know what? I'll keep this hand. Turn one land, turn two zenith for dork. Well, we only have one dork. It is so. a dork nonetheless. It's true. It's true. A dork nonetheless is a dork on your vest. You know what I mean? Hmm. Is that not... Let's try this one. Nope. Not that one. Alright. This one? All right, that was the one. That's the ticket. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. What you thinking? Well, I was thinking getting channel, but I'm probably just gonna get dork here. You should get channel your upkeep. We don't have anything to channel into though. So what's the point? Well, you could. No, you don't have no mana. Never mind. Now you do. Next turn. Next turn Next... what? Next turn you can you can technically make double black. For, for what? To play a Grave Titan a little faster. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather just get a land. I'd rather just get Mana Crypt and then play it with Mana oh, Crypt. Yeah, you should probably get and we can't get double black here either, so I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that's not a, yeah, that's not a buy you. Gotcha. Man, nothing. It was just, it was just a string of, of wrongness. It was so sad. It was like watching a train accident. A train accident. <laughs> you ever seen one of them train accidents? They call them train murders. Okay? <laughs> oh, we got into a big train murder earlier. Wow, that was rude. Y'all ever seen a train murder? Oh, good. They're bribering us. That's wonderful. I'm having a good time. Oh, gee, I wonder what they'll get.
Having a good time. Having a good time. I mean, I'm pretty sure they just get <coughs> Kozilek. Why wouldn't you not get cause I guess we have this guy kill it, though. All of our things kill it. Oh, good. They're just going to kill two of our lands, though. That's nice. <sighs> Actually, I mean, we get rid of two more of their lands and we... <laughs> oh, boy. It's all happening. So now they have two lands. Wait, not artifact. Thank you. I'm an idiot. I thought it was an Eldrazi. Oh yeah. For some reason, I'm like, oh, I can kill. Clearly, a Shriek Maw can kill a Sundering Titan. Nope, it was one of the terrible creatures from back in the day. Oh boy, bribery. It's not old enough to even have that excuse. So first round, I played Winter Orb Opposition. <laughs> into Winds of Abandon, Regrowth Winds of Abandon, into. Uh, it's all been a horrible mess. Just it's hit just, submit. So yeah, it's just this thing over with. Just, just the next one. Just end us. Just end it all. Oh my god. Okay, guys. So, not to get political, but if this is the kind of news we have to look forward to in the next four years, please. Please give me more of it. This is such a fucking welcome change. To, to like, if these are the headlines that we get to see rather than like the scumbag nonsense that's taking place, oh my god, I'm gonna turn on the news and be like, oh, I can't wait to see what happy shit is is, is happening today. I just can't wait to not have so, to care about the news for an inauguration. Oh man, it's so wholesome. It's so wholesome. Anyway. Also, that's not really that political. It's just a dog adoption. That's cute. Well, it's me talking about the shit show that the current administration is, if you well, can even yeah, call them an administration. And I wholesomely, not wholesomely, wholly agree. Just a bunch of lefty boys. Snowflaking it up. <laughs> hey, get your snowflake on. All right, so we're going to go. Signet. What'd you say to me? You can name Signet. I am going to name Signet. Oh, okay. Make sure you're naming the right one. Okay, what do you owe hey, me? Celestial Signet. You're going to sell that foil one, right? Yeah. You want to sell it to me? Yeah, I'd love to. Let me check out the foil and you of it. I don't see how bendy it might be. It's beautiful. Just play. You should just play your commander deck in all top loaders. People do that and it's really obnoxious and I hate it. I'm pretty sure that's a. That seems like a Jacob Nakarado thing. Oh, yeah. Back oh. before he was. It's rough. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I can't have it. It's rough, it's dude. Stupid. It's too rough. Why are magic cards so bad? I could I swear older foils took at least time to warp. They didn't do it immediately. Did this like the the, the secret layers like not oh. even like I'm not gonna read top of it. Secret layers this secret layer is probably not even like two months old. Right? And it's literally in a sleeve and a top loader, and it comes out and it's like this. Dude, those walking deads that you gave me? I know. They're literally already like that. They're worse. I don't understand. Like, this is unplayable. Like, I don't understand, like, how magic still makes these foils. Like, it blows my fucking mind. Yeah, if you have a couple of them in your deck, like, you can easily be seen. Like, when you draw your card or whatever. I also gotta get rid of my opposition agent and get a normal one, because it's a stupid foil. Stupid foil. Chicken patty. They don't make... Well, they still produce... I mean, they still sell them. Like, I don't... Obviously, it's not made by Wizards of the Coast or the Wizards of the Coast office in Renton. That's not what I mean, obviously. Also, um, any foils like that... The weird exception is etch foils do not actually bend. So, I don't know why they're all just not made that way. They don't actually bend. If you have the technology, why not use it? I know it's a new thing they're doing, but... You probably hate Pringles, too. No, because Pringles are designed to do that. I don't hate things that are designed a certain way to do a thing. Pringles do exactly what they're designed to do. Like, when my card looks like this. <laughs> yeah, it looks like someone's doing the M from YMCA. That's the only reason I don't like foils. I would like them. It would be cool. But... I would literally get... Oh, yeah, I'd put foils in my queue. I have no problem with them. But I can't, because it's not reasonable. <laughs> I have no idea what that was. Uh, it was terrifying, and I hope you guys so didn't, murder your ears. didn't hear that. 
That was absolutely terrible. Yep, here comes exploded. Sundering Titan again. So just be clear, they're going to kill three of our lands here? Or two? How can they kill three of our lands? You're right, there's only two. Still not good. Wow, that was an insanely scary and terrifying sound. Why would you kill the forest in the bayou and not the overgrown in the bayou? Because they're big dumb and they don't realize overgrown team is a target. No. <laughs> what? But if oh, you know Lord. Target, how can you not know overgrown team is Buddy, a you got me. Yeah. What is going on? Has your speakers been invaded by aliens? I don't know, dude. That's a yikes for me, yeah, I dog. I guess we technically don't need that noise. You can turn it down. But that is weird. Yeah, I, uh, that's... Gave me a big spook. I guess I'll take six here. Would you like them then? No, because I don't want any kind of chip. I don't want any crispy chip that I'm eating to flatten out over time like it's a like it's a fruit snack. Like that's just weird. Oh, they left you a swamp so when it comes out they can kill your swamp instead of theirs. Yeah, that actually makes sense. But the argument there is you can get rid of two duels. Right, right? but like you like I mean like this guy's not dying, right? Like so you're just killing me so you're hoping that I'd rather make sure like you don't have a third land right like I, you kill both my black sources is my point like i'd rather kill both my black sources up front than <sighs> i feel like we just wreck sage here and it's absolutely horrendous can we have to though what What's the alternative? What if I say no? <laughs> I just keep this. It is a shark. No, like we draw, we draw more six drops than lands. It's very funny. And we can't just leave it on the board. We don't have any way to effectively trade with it. They have six cards. Like they have more cards than us. They have two, three lands versus our no, two. The game's over. They're gonna blow up both our lands. We're, we're just dead. Oh. Hmm. It's just going to be an abyss until it kills both of our lands and we die. Dang, 73 bones for the foil? Yeesh. For what? What? The foil. Of this guy? Yeah, probably. A lot, man. You're a lot. And it's a good card, but... You know what that card makes it look real bad? The stupid raptor that lets you play an extra land. The raptor? Yeah. The rapture? The city blessing one? Sword tooth? The, 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 that's not a raptor, Michael. That's like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It looks like a raptor to me. It's only a 5-5. Five, five. Have you ever seen a ra It looks like a raptor to you? Yeah. I don't think you've ever seen either a raptor or that card. He's never seen a raptor. Like, that's the good... This, this looks like more like a Tyrannosaurus Rex than a raptor. Is it not Wayward Sword Save, Tooth? Saber Tooth. I think. It's definitely not saber tooth. Am I thinking of? Yeah, it's wayward sword tooth. This looks more like a raptor to you. I guess when you zoom in, it looks a little bigger. But it's three mana. And it's only five five, so I don't feel like it's T Rex status. That is a T Rex, like for sure. You're nuts. Yeah, like I don't. This does not like a. Ra I feel like you've never seen a raptor before. Which is weird because I thought you were—I thought you've seen Jurassic Park, you know. Once or twice. We've seen the second one. Along oh, there. they time warped. Okay, so that's why we're dead. Got it. Got it. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to check me out on twitchtv slash Cyclisma, dude. I'm so sorry. This is not uh, ideal. It didn't. I did. We. I feel like we tried to pick Birthing Pot early. Um, we tried to pick as many creatures as we felt like would be would be decent, but uh, it was just not meant to be. So. Thank you so much, dude. I still really appreciate the support, and uh, Bye. I'll see you guys next time.